One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten orange players finished with a field goal or more. Syracuse improves to three and zero behind an eighty to forty seven victory over Coppin State. Depth going to play a huge factor for this team this season. Alyssa Latham, Deasia Fair, Elena Rice, Isabel Verjao, all players that can fill up the stat sheet and going to play huge roles for this team in 2023 and 2024. We played the game as beautiful as I've seen in a long time. The way we shared the ball, the way we played defense, the way we laughed out there to the point where you saw tonsils. We played happy, we played unselfish basketball, we played together, and I feel like that's what's going to help us throughout the season. And we're just having fun. And, you know, we laugh in that locker room. We, we, we call each other out. We, 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 we talk about, they write things on the board. We talk about what they wrote on the board. And, uh, and, and, and they take ownership. But we walk in, that's what we're hearing. And if they can stay true to that all year, we're going to not just be a great team. We're going to be a team that every young kid should be in a locker room and, and, and listen to because these are our future um, uh, examples of, to young people. I'm just enjoying the ride. Syracuse stays perfect at 3-0 after a 33-point win versus Coppin State. SU hits the road this Sunday to take on the 20th ranked Maryland Terrapins. That game will be on Big Ten Network at noon. For Citrus TV, I'm Carson Fowler.